joined right now by LFA69 co-headliner Arthur Estrazulis. How you doing, sir? Good, good. How are you, man? I'm glad to talk to you during fight week. How are you feeling a couple days out from the contest? Man, I'm feeling great. Um, blessed, you know. I'm ready to fight. It's always good, you know. It's always good to have a time to put out everything that you work for, you know. Right, you spend a lot of time in the gym. You spend a lot of time preparing and then fight night is a big payoff right yeah more than time at the gym you know it's that's my lifestyle you know that's why i'm i moved to us that's why i came to king's mma stream with master rafael and it's always a pleasure to represent that you know? well tell me about it. how big of a decision was leaving home coming all the way to california uh Actually, it was a dream come true, you know. I have an opportunity to train with uh, one of the biggest names in the scenario. And more than that, you know. So when I moved to here, I was training with the best guys. And I couldn't test myself and, and see how was the high level in the sport. And more than that, you know, by time we start became part of the family. And learn so much, you know, every day. Not just about fighting, but about living, you know. It's great. California is amazing, too, you know. How I can complain living in Huntington Beach, you know, nearby the beach. This California weather. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> and not just a member of the team, but I heard you're also one of the coaches. Yeah, you can say that, coach. You know, but actually, everyone there, uh, if you're part of the team, uh, or better, part of the family, you always teach and learn, you know. Uh, and for me, it's an honor to have a chance to be in the corner of so many fighters and learn so much. Because when I'm not fighting, but I'm there, I'm, man, I'm having uh, like a great experience, you know. So... Yeah, sometimes, Coach. <laughs> and you've had a, just a lot of big experiences, fought for a lot of big promotions yourself. Not not a lot of guys can say that they've had as much high-level MMA and kickboxing experience as you have. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, actually, I, I just like to fight, you know, and... Uh, because you know, every time you have a fight, is a is a is a different way to to get better. You know, for for sure, training make you improve. But every time you fight, it's a different experience. So I'm glad that I, I could do different shows and see the the different ways, different ways that the different organizations. You know how how they work. But yeah, it's pretty good to have this kind of experience. Did you intend to fight at such a high level in kickboxing or MMA or was it just opportunity? Yeah, actually, man, I, I, now I'm, uh, I hope to fight more, you know, uh, this year I, I start a new project with, uh, my team and I'm now I'm hundred uh, percent focused on the training and I have people to support me, the West Coast Gear, Palace Brothers, and Kings MMA for sure. And uh, I'm planning to fight as as much as possible right now, you know? So uh, kickboxing, Muay Thai, MMA, just let's do it, you know? Let's test my, test my body, you know? Let's see what happens. The last fight was about 10 months ago. Has it been way too long of a layoff for your liking? Yeah, actually, I don't like to stay so long without fights. You know, last year was amazing because I, uh, in six months I fought three times, and I feel that I saw the difference. You know, when you keep fighting, it's actually you don't need to train that much. You know, you're always ready because you just go there. But at the same time, I understand that. Everything happened for a reason, 
and I didn't fought in this last 10 months, but at the same time, I figured out how I'm gonna fight more now and focus more in my training. So I'm just glad back in the track. And gonna be taking on Steve Cazola here on Friday night on Access TV, the co main event of LFA 69. Give us some thoughts on your opponent, on Steve Cazola. What have you seen in studying him? Uh, not much, you know. Uh, I prefer my, my, my coach do the studying about my opponent. You know, uh, they are the specialists on that. The only thing that I care is to have an opponent, you know. I know he's going to be 155. Pretty much my same size, aggressive, you know, have a good experience. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good fight, you know. People is going to enjoy to watch that. I think he likes to... I, he, he He's not a kind of guy who likes to take decisions, just like me. So, man, I'm, I think it's going to be a really good fight, you know. I'm excited. Let's see what's going to happen. What is it about your style that leads to exciting fights? Uh, I think that's the style of my gym. You know, Master Rafael, he, he for, of course, the, the, the sport change a lot. And sometimes you have to create a strategies. Not sometimes, you always create a strategy. But at the same time, uh, you, cannot, you can't lose the, the, the roots of the the sport you know when we started with valitude without time and the goal was always finish the fight so for me it doesn't make any sense you win the fight because you hold the guy and you make points i think you know, the most important is you always try to finish your point you know especially now than everyone there is it's no more about uh uh styles everyone know how to do jiu-jitsu wrestling Muay Thai or any other style. So most important is, man, put all together and try to finish your opponent. And that's what I like to do. And always we're going to try, you know, because uh, of course I want to always win the fight. But more than that, I want to bring a good show, you know. I want to I wanna test myself. You know? And from the kind of style, the kind of fight you want to have, are you most often wanting to first off test it out on the feet before you're looking to take it to the ground? Um, I like. I think it was Mayweather who said that I don't have style, I beat styles, no? or something like that. And I truly believe on that. You know, wherever, wherever the fight goes, I'm always going to look for the best way to finish him. You know? If he, if you want to exchange, we're going to exchange. You know, I like that. But if you want to go to the floor, we go to the floor, no problem, you know. If I'm on top, I'm going to be aggressive and violent. But if I'm on the bottom, I'm going to try to finish him or try to stand up, whatever. Uh, the only thing I promise is, is the show, you know. Uh, I think, uh, especially at the gym, I have so many different guys, you know, so, so many different high-level skills there. Then I always have to to, to try different things, you know? Uh, so, yeah. Whatever comes, we're gonna... We're gonna always try to bring up... You know, they, my friends like to say, I, I don't like to talk about myself much, you know, I prefer show. But I remember they always say, talk about uh, be violent and intelligent. So, let's try that. Violent and intelligent, that's my style. And you talked about King's MMA, Master Rafael Cordero. Who are some of the other guys that you work with a lot in the gym? Wow, well, everyone, you know, so many names, but I can tell you Darius for sure. Benio is like a mirror for me, you know. I look to him and say, man, that's the guy. You know, but there's so many guys like Giga Chikazzi, uh Marvin Vettori, Lioto Machida is a good friend of us. Fabrício Verdun, you know. Back in the days, I was training a lot with Rafael Dos Anjos. What a great guy. 
Ricardo Seixas, o uh, Fight in LFA 2, uh, Sabina Mazo, the Colombian Queen. You, you can see, I can, I can stay here and talk about everyone. Names that you don't know yet, but you're going to know about in the future for sure. Because uh, at the gym, man, it's, it's no joke. You know? we, we train hard there. How, how much do you enjoy martial arts? How much I enjoy what? Sorry? Martial arts. Oh, martial arts. Man. Martial arts. You know, enjoy it. It's, sometimes you're not going to enjoy. Because sometimes it's painful, harder. But it's not about that. You know, it's what's coming after that. Uh, martial arts saved my life. And I'm here today. I have I have something to do. Something that I believe because of martial arts, you know, and uh, it's it, you know, it's more than enjoy, it's my life. And it's hard to be a martial arts because many times I, I how I can say, I'm, uh, uh, it's hard to say, I, I'm tough with myself, uh, harder with, no, how I say it, like. You're hard on yourself? Yeah, I'm hard on myself, like, because it's, it's uh, it's hard to be a hundred percent a martial artist, you know. I it's hard, I don't like to say I'm a martial artist because I'm I want to be a martial artist, you know. And I see so many guys like Lyoto Machida. Lyoto Machida, man, this guy. If you see his history, you know, like this guy, is really close to a martial artist, you know. And uh, that's what I'm looking for, you know. Like I have big examples at the gym, and so. I don't know. I'm just trying to. I have. I. I feel like I have a long journey yet. You know, I'm just in the beginning of my career, so I prefer to show what I can do. You know, with martial arts. Right. Friday night, you get that opportunity. Yeah, yeah. What's your expectations? Man, I'm. No expectations, you know. Just happy to go there and and do a real fight, you know. Because doesn't matter how hard you train, it's different when it's for real, you know. There, I I really don't care about my opponent, you know. I really, I'm I'm, I'm not a I'm not afraid to hurt him or anything, you know. I can just go there and put myself. Uh, as wild possible, no, and no expectations. Just ready to go and happy to go, no, happy to go there and and put some everything that I want to show. You know, it's a great opportunity. It's been ten months. Do you feel that you've grown a lot since that last time in action? Yeah, every every time, you know, every time the, doesn't matter uh, how long it takes for me to fight. I feel like every day I want to improve myself, you know. Uh, usually I like to watch my fights, and doesn't matter how good is the fight, I'm gonna watch until I don't like it, you know. And then I see, man, I can be better than this guy, and that's what I'm trying to do. Let's see how it's gonna be, you know. If you can... I'm excited. I'm really excited to to, to see myself. You know, I want to test, see how it's going to be. <laughs> Morongo Casino Resort and Spa, Friday night. Access TV if you can't be there live. Arthur, sir, it was great again to talk to you. Got to thank you for the time. Last but not least, is there people that you need to thank and shout out to? Sorry, there, I lost connection here. Is there anybody you need to thank or shout out to? Hello. Hello. Uh, first, you thank you for calling me. You know, give me that time, your time. Uh, for sure, the all the guys from LFA, Ed Suarez, Joinha, uh, all of them to give me this opportunity. And my team, you know, Kings MMA, West Coast Cure, uh, jo- Logan, Jerry, my manager, Betega. Master Rafael and all my teammates, 
and my the managed company who is take care of me, the Palace Brothers. And let's go, let's go for the war. Friday night. You guys, please check it out.